Yo, what is going on guys? This is Kane Raleigh. So today I'm going to be talking about how to tell your parents that you want to join the military or that you're going to join the military. This video is going to be really specific to joining the Air Force just because every branch is different and I, my experience is from joining the Air Force. Um, I mean, I guess you could still take this and use it in other aspects if you are planning on joining another branch, but this is more specifically going to be oriented towards people joining the Air Force. So. Let me tell the story first about how I told my mom and dad. Um, my dad wanted to join the Navy when he was really young, but he couldn't um, do like the buddy system with his friends because he had asthma. He couldn't like do the same job as them or something like that. So he didn't end up joining at all. Um, so my dad and my grandpa was also uh, in the Navy. So like my dad is kind of re really cool with like military. Like he didn't care. I told him separately. Um, I was like, all right, like I'm gonna join the Air Force and it was just alone with him and he's like, oh, that's awesome Okay, so I I was really struggling to tell my mom because I knew exactly how she would react um, Just because like I feel like it's a mom's thing where like a mom doesn't want to see their baby You know going off the war or whatever they may think it is um, Which isn't really the case necessarily for the Air Force um so I was like, okay, like, um, let's go get lunch or something like that. And we ended up going to this diner and, uh, I just sat down. I was like, all right, I have something to tell you. And she's like, are you pregnant? Like, is your, is it more pregnant? And I was like, no, I'm not having a baby. Like, <laughs> that's like a mom's first, first thing that they ask. Um, so we sat down and I was just like, I'm going to join the air force. I, it wasn't like, I think I'm going to join the air force. It wasn't like that. It was like, I'm going to join the air force. Cause by this time I had already talked to my recruiter. I had already kind of started the process. Um, I think I was scheduled or was going to be scheduled to take the ASVAB or something like that. And I straight up told her and she was like, no, please don't, please don't. And she started crying and it was just that kind of mom thing. And it kind of hurt cause it's like, dang, like, wow, she really does not want me to do this. Like she honestly thinks that I'm going to be in danger. And after some explaining and stuff like that, like she kind of got a little bit better with it. Not really. Like she kind of brought herself back together and was just like, okay, like that's, you know, whatever. Like she was just really, you know, asking a lot of questions. And then uh, as time went on, like now to this day, she's actually really supportive and she's like, all right, like that's awesome. Like you're going to do it and do, you know, do it for yourself and you're going to be able to go to college and, you know, do all this other stuff. So she's actually supportive now that she understands that the Air Force isn't grunt work, you know, you're not going to be getting shot at or I mean, it's, it's a possibility, obviously, in deployment or wherever you may be, but it's the chances are really slim like the number one killer in the air force is like it's not necessarily a killer i don't want to use that word because that might be a little disrespectful but suicide is actually uh something that is really high in the air force um compared to like combat you know so th there's those side of things and like those were just the things that i brought up to my mom you know it was a lot of benefits a lot of like you know like she always knew i wanted to join the navy she kind of had her little mom thing where it's like oh well you want to join the navy because this person was in the navy or this person is in the navy and i was like no like actually i've kind of always wanted to join the military in some sort of way so i explained to her that like okay like i wanted to join the military when i was younger and then it kind of faded away but it still was kind of there and uh it's just the positive things like the gi bill um how pay works how i'm only going to be in for four years how i get to travel a little bit how I'm not going to be getting shot at. I'm going to be doing cyber systems operations and or cyber surety at the time or whatever I wanted to do, like photography or being a dental assistant. You know, it's stuff like that. How, yeah, I could end up in Colorado and I could still be home in my home state with you or, you know, it's temporary and I could still be in the United States or even if I would, did want to go overseas, I have the opportunity now. And it was a lot of stuff like that. Um, and now, right now, I want to pause and say... It really depends on your family because everybody's experience in life and with their parents and the way that they're raised is completely different. Some people are super anti-military. Some people are super who off military. You know, it just it really depends on who your parents are. Um, now, I feel like in that situation from people who are super anti, you know, war and anti-military, it really comes down to you being honest and you understanding that this is something that you want to do, something that you think that is going to benefit you, and if somebody doesn't support you, then that's just the way it is. You can't change their mind. Like That is honestly what it comes down to, is that you can't even join until you're 18. So 
you can just if they don't want to support you and you're still under the age of 18 you could just wait till you're 18 and then you can go talk to your recruiter now obviously it sucks it really does suck doing something in life aside from military where your parents or people who are close to you don't support you because I have 100% been through that um, but honestly you are your own worst enemy in that aspect of you need to support yourself when nobody else is supporting you and if you're not supporting yourself and they're not supporting yourself then nobody is going to support you and honestly like that's really what it comes down to you have to set your mind to it say okay this is what i want to do you you can either be with me or you can gtfo you know it's just kind of stuff like that so you know obviously don't have that attitude with your parents but be like look it look like this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm thinking about doing, these are the opportunities that it's going to offer me, and this is what I'm going to do for my country, and that's the way it is. So it's just kind of something like that, um, at least that's kind of how I have perceived it and how I kind of dealt with it. Um, anyways, I don't want to make this video too long or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I just kind of want to get this information out there in my sort of recruiting and processing life that I'm in right now, just because as I progress with my career and you know growing and stuff like that I'm not gonna constantly be looking back and making videos about how to tell your parents you're joining the military when I'm already in the military so it's stuff like that um now one thing that I really want to say is thank you so much for all of the support that I have been getting on my channel recently I think last time I checked I was like 594 subscribers right before I kind of started making only Air Force videos I was about 529 or 530 or something like that um, I've been getting so much love on my channel and I really just want to appreciate I just want to take it take some time to appreciate that just because so much has changed and it was like instantaneous so if you guys have any video requests or anything that you would like to see from this channel and from me uh, just let me know whether it's military related Air Force related or you know whatever it may be um, I do want to say that I'm going to be making a whole BMT video when I get out of BMT I leave February 7th so please don't forget to leave your leave dates down below and your AFSCs but before before I go, I'm going to be making a video um, basically saying, look, I'm going to be making a QA and a video when I get out. So I'm going to be making the whole video about BASIC, and then after that, I'm going to release a Q&A video answering any questions that you may have about BASIC because I know how hard it is to find videos about BASIC like recently because everyone keeps their videos kind of vague, but I want to go super in-depth like this is what happens in 2017, this is where I stayed, this is what it looked like. I, would, I just want to make a video like that because like that is exactly what I was looking for and I couldn't find it. Um, and I mean, you know, you have Kyle Gott's videos and you have stuff like that, but their videos aren't accurate anymore because they went through so long ago and it's just something that constantly has to be updated and uh sorry i don't want to ramble but that's just kind of where i'm at and that is what i'm going to be doing so start to gather up your questions don't leave them in this video um i mean you can if you want to but i'm really going to see all of them on the video that i'm going to release before i do live so anyways thank you so much for watching and have an awesome night